profit is at 124 crore rupees. Now this is versus a poll of around 228 crore rupees. Agam Wakil is here with the analysis. Agam, that's the bottom line. Take us to the other numbers. What worked for Nestle? I was assuming that this quarter was expected to be slightly under pressure owing to the Maggie noodles crisis. Yes, and you know, uh, as you said, we were expecting a weak quarter, but once again, at least in terms of the top line, the number is uh, a lot worse than what we were anticipating, uh, because uh, we've seen about a 32% decline on the top line, around 1,742 crores, as against an expectation of just about 20%, so that's where the big hit comes in, and this is, of course, essentially because of uh, the issues with the ongoing Maggie controversy. This is also the first quarter which will consider the full hit of Maggie uh, being absent in the numbers for Nestle. Uh, that said, in terms of uh, EBITDA margins has also come off to a significant extent because of the, the uh, decline in revenue. So EBITDA margins coming at 16.5% as against 21.3% and that's also had a consequential impact on the bottom line as expected, declining by as much as 70, 60% on a year-on-year -year basis coming at around 124 crores. Uh, as far as gross margins go, uh, we have seen a little bit of an improvement on a year-on-year -year basis coming at around 57.4% as against 54.1%. But on the whole, when you consider the three top line, three headline numbers, it's a clear miss when it comes to street expectations. Stock was obviously under pressure in the last two days. Needless to say that it, tomorrow there could be some evident pressure on the stock given the numbers? I would expect that because uh, we have seen the stock move up significantly as much as good 15 to 16 percent from the controversy lows. So at one point in time the stock had hit a low of as much as 5500. Since then it has recovered, come to the levels of around 6000. So we are going to see a little bit more pressure coming into Nestle. Do remember that Nestle had also hit uh, at the mark of 6600 so it has come off a little but uh, if going to tomorrow if the street does not like the numbers they are seeing and my guess is that they won't, uh, we could see some more pressure coming in for Nestle tomorrow. Lastly, Agam, and quickly, uh, do you have any commentary or any clarification coming in from the management uh, well, uh, and Nestle with respect to what's the road ahead for them, what's the plan as far as Maggie Rules is concerned? I'm assuming November was the time period last uh, discussed. Yes, uh, so for now, uh, at least in terms of the press release and what I've gone through, I've just gone through the numbers. But yes, as you pointed out, that uh, the management has said that they are they're, uh, looking forward to putting Maggie back on the shelves by the month of November. They're going to have some of their samples, newly manufactured samples tested by the three accredited laboratories. And after that, uh, will they go ahead with selling and marketing? But uh, till then, uh, they'll have to wait and watch as to how Nestle performs without Maggie. But uh, I suspect that uh, the Maggie advantage will come in the second half of the quarter for uh, the that is the fourth quarter of this calendar year. And that is if they do manage to launch, uh, uh, relaunch by November. Thanks, Agam, for joining in.